Association. Uh, we are working as um, Secretariat for Innovation for Change initiative in Central Asia, as a hub in Central Asia. We are in Kazakhstan, uh, in Almaty, which is uh, two million people of city. And uh, we also are working in different countries, have different projects, regional projects, uh, in Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, um, and uh, Kyrgyzstan. Uh, also Mongolia and Afghanistan. I'm a biologist uh, and uh, after uh, I got uh, education in the biological faculty and I got PhD. I was very young <laughs> and uh, I said, wow, maybe it's a little bit I'm too young or it's too early to provide lectures, to help to professors at the university. And I uh, think well, maybe the world is a little bit interesting than sitting at the university. And uh, my idea was to, to go out. And uh, my first NGO, where I, I, I joined a NGO, and it was an ecological NGO. When I, I was an ecologist, started to work. Then, you know, I mean, extended my uh, interests to uh, civil society. Just, just not be focused on the to ecological things, and being a civil society leader, I grow up and worked with uh, international organization at Counterpart Consortium, like our trainer coordinator. Then I was a senior program officer, and um, you know we uh, we were thinking a lot about sustainability, about creating NGOs, and uh, you know I was thinking why we. I, I mean, just uh, we are not, um, we will not create our own NGOs, and we created Argo as an umbrella association. Initially, it was an association of um, civil society organizations, which work throughout the Kazakhstan only. Since 2012, we extended our mission and started to work as a regional association. We created the projects. Um, with other countries of Central Asia. And uh, three years before, in 2015, the idea of um, innovation uh, hub, global idea, came to our region. Initially, we were together with South Asia, Central Asia and South Asia. We were as one uh, hub. Then uh, we are actually thinking that we have, we are so diverse. Uh, you know, because the South Asia by themselves, uh, there are so different countries uh, with their own uh, cultures. But uh, Central Asia has uh, its own history. It's a post-Soviet independent countries with a very um, development process. It's just in the beginning. And we decided just to and we ask um, our helper hub and uh, other partners just to separate Central Asia from South Asia hub. So that's the story. Innovations, it's like um, something new or something old which could be, which could be uh, you know, updated uh, and integrated as a new approach. And uh, now the time of civil society here in in Kazakhstan, I think in the world, when old um, type of tools, technical assistance, uh, it's um, not working, you know, because for example, advocacy campaigns, um, it's a very dangerous for NGOs, for example, to advocate something, because there are a lot of limit limitations uh, in according to law related with freedom associations, freedom of speech, uh, access to information, you know, and uh, we uh, discussed a lot in our team with our partners throughout the region that we have to um, create something, we have to get new knowledge. Uh, that's why we decided to join this uh, global movement like innovations. When associations cannot to comment or to cannot to write uh, negative things throughout social media, for example, if it is a, a lot of criticism, you know, there is a, a law. It's like about um, kind of uh, 
social encourage, encouragement of the population, uh, which is uh, actually could be the problem with the person, and uh, you know the person could be in jail, so and uh, arrested, and uh, you know, I think that's uh, very um, difficult to work uh, and to write to the civic activists in this kind of uh, area, in this kind of sphere environment, so. Or, for example, people, if they want to uh, organize some um, action in, on the street, they, they uh, have to get agreement from the government, permission. But, uh, you know, never government cannot. There are a specific place in the parks or urban area, uh, not urban area, but outside of the city, where people can, you know, come together. There is not actually uh, possibilities to come together. So. Uh, also, uh, there are a lot of limitations related with um, um, <laughs> freedom of association. Uh, you know, in according to law, uh, the, um, there are not possibilities to work as a group of people. Like, uh, you know, to there is only opportunities to work as an organization. First, you have to be registered, then you have to discuss something, to plan something, to actually realize the projects on community basis. So, and um, there are actually, we're working on this sphere, how to work together, because there are actually some um, conflicting. For example, um, when the when, when Kazakhstan accepted the law related with local self-governance issues, but in the same uh, which is written that the inclusive planning, inclusive uh, creating budget issues, but there are also limitations, as I mentioned earlier, about the people cannot to come together, you know, without any kind of official registration as an NGO. So we and uh, we have we are working with this here, and how to, you know, um, save uh, the citizens and uh, for one. Time from another, t uh, from one side, from another side, how to uh, give them a chance to be more active, to have a voice, to work with local government or to city government. So that's uh, our tools which we are using. The civil society is not only NGOs. But we're thinking that artisans, active citizens, youth, elderly people who are thinking about their city, about their place where they're living. So, and um, we just recently organized Innovation Festival. It was uh, uh, maybe a set of events, nine events. Started from media tour when we provided education for journalists, how to write the stories, how to pro provide infographs, how to make their actually um, uh, stories were interesting. One of our partner NGO, they organized makers and the makers pro de developed prototypes for the people with disabilities. And it was nine interesting projects. And the first time it happened in Almaty, because before it was organized in different cities of Kazakhstan. But in Almaty, um, thanks for innovation for change, we actually invited people from Central Asia who learned a lot. And for example, our partners from Tajikistan, they want to de develop the same project in Tajikistan. It was um, due 72 hours non-stop makers provided prototypes, you know, <laughs> and they created nine different um, uh, just uh, things and it was interesting and it was uh, some of them were useful and uh, it was good partnership between makers just uh, and uh, for example um, people with disabilities or who work in this area. We had a dream five years before it was uh, to organize uh, distance learning courses for NGOs or for people who is working in the social sphere. So I think it's um, innovation first. The second, it's sustainability from the educational part of civil society. So and currently, um, we have created 15 different courses 
and we think that it's also some of the services which could provide it through the innovation for change we can um, actually add or we can update some courses or we can translate them uh, into local languages because currently you know we have in one language and um, so that um, ideas just uh, come when we are traveling when we are talking with people and uh, when we are actually we changed our mission <laughs> from for example being like a service organization to the, like being like umbrella for the uh, and extend our mission to the regional approach to have partnership with other um, uh, regions like South Asia or East Asia or for example East Europe one of the interesting story which we got from uh, the US and the, from the Europe is the public councils because the culture it's like um, and the history when it was like a vertical power there is no people voice and uh, you know there are um, no opportunities just to create something but uh, when we uh, participated I mean just in different uh, kind of projects and we um, understand that the public councils it's one of the mechanisms of public participation and decision making and um, you know it's a culture one for example in uh, Berkeley City or another kind of um, I don't Ren, which is actually twin city for Almaty the people can come together and they can sit and uh, just talk with the mayor for example they can address their issues related with the city with the changes and I think this model we got from the Eastern Europe and from the Berkeley <laughs> when we actually had one of our partners and we were thinking that how we can improve this in Kazakhstan or in Central Asia and now I think we are in Kazakhstan we accepted the law uh, for example Kyrgyzstan also they accepted the law about the public councils development how they organize so on so on and now we providing real technical um, assistance how to improve because um, the councils created by the law <laughs> and the uh, governor um, it was not election by people I mean just it was not people elected by people but it was for example just people who um, working close to gov governor so and uh, currently working with the changing the situation with strengthen the situation with improve Innovation for change, actually, it says was um, like um, nature <laughs> incorporated in our, very naturally incorporated in our mission because we are working in the region and when we called to different partners, to different stakeholders uh, about the innovation for change and uh, it was a lot energy and the people were a lot optimistic about how it was organized. I mean, just uh, specifically membership throughout the, the platform or new technologies or opportunities to have access to global different tools like Latin America or for example East Asia there were very interesting tools which we actually can share to each other and uh, we um, one of our um, the first um, tool which we started to uh, develop in Central Asia I think in throughout other countries we were the first who established innovation labs and we tried uh, to organize innovation the first innovation lab here in Central Asia and the outcome of this uh, lab it was so interesting because there were a lot you know um, organized crowdfunding platform in different countries or for example um, there are uh, like uh, place making um, events for example about related with urban uh, engagement urban um, I mean citizens so it was very interesting tools which we um, developed through the innovation lab and the participants they are asking again and again to um, organize those kind of uh, events in other countries also The Innovation Lab, when we can in 
one time in one place to organize uh, different tools related with innovations in social or in media sphere or how to work with citizens uh, you know that and it's just uh, uh, the people who already implemented this kind of um, tools they can share the experience they can try they can just share like a stories then the participants can get uh, you know that the consultations face to face uh, sitting, chatting, and uh, get some ideas how they can develop or create such kind of um, um, projects in their own country, so when they will back at home. I'm so proud that the first um, inter-regional retreat, which organized by the regional hub, uh, provi we provided in Almaty. So, and um, uh, there are uh, more than uh, over 90 participants came to Almaty from more than uh, 50 countries from different islands, different continents and uh, uh, you know during four days we actually discussed a lot about um, innovations, about uh, how civil society is development in different regions and different continents, what kind of challenges do we have what kind of approaches or new tools we can, uh, you know, um, develop and uh, uh, so and I had a good chance to share uh, our experience, Central Asian experience with the people from different countries and we had a good idea how to work, for example, with the MENA region or for Latin America region in the near future, in year one or two. Also, we had a chance to look to our work, what we are doing here in Central Asia, from outside, and just to create some new ideas, new plans, how we will develop uh, civil society here in the region. First, uh, we uh, were thinking about um, um, how um, you know, how Central Asian can be visible on the global level, <laughs> yeah. And uh, the second, I think uh, there are good place to come together <laughs> and just to discuss different things. Uh, and I think from another side also, as an innovation for change, uh, they, we created governance cycle when each um, continent, each hub, regional hub, uh, uh, delegated one steward to the governance cycle. So, and uh, that's the um, second time when we provided the meeting of governance cycle. It was different decisions made, for example, how to, about membership, about uh, sustainability, about sharing experience, about different things. And uh, I'm so uh, happy that this event happened here. We're thinking about the projects related with uh, sharing economy because the model, because actually the donors are leaving the region. I mean, just international donors. And um, um, corporations are still thinking about social responsibility things. We have to work a lot with, I mean, just uh, with uh, things like resource mobilizations. And uh, we were thinking that the sharing economy it's a good approach, which already implemented by Latin America um, uh, countries. And we had a good contact with the consultant and with the hub in Latin America that we will continue this work. And because this work is very um, actually close, there are a lot of results or outcomes of this work, you know, advocacy on local level about open budget things. And uh, some of our countries, Kyrgyzstan just recently joined uh, OGP, Open Government Partnership. And um, I think we need a lot of technical assess assistance. The old style things, uh, I mean, just are not working now. We cannot to say um, that uh, something will change without efforts of civil society, without activists, without willingness to change. And uh, we are open for new business, I think, for new um, interesting ideas. And, um, you know, as a local organization, 
were very uh, interesting to get new knowledge here to the region. This initiative, Innovation for Change, is new and uh, it's unique actually uh, platform where uh, no one didn't have the same platform, you know. It's a global platform and uh, a lot of energy, a lot of work which uh, <coughs> regional hubs are doing, it's on volunteering basis because they want to change the world, they want to change the place when they're living, they're thinking about the future of the next generation and so on. Thank you.